Forbes. Welcome back to the channel. When it's your first time here, hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jess. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. We're in rugby at the barn. Now you might have seen the barn before because we did a grub club here and we vlogged it. We did, did we not? So I shall whack that up there. It's uh, basically the barn is like one of Britain's only, if it's not the only, fully vegan carvery. Yeah. And it's lovely the food we had was incredible like i said check, check the uh the vlog out anyway today they're doing an event called the barnival get it carnival barnival ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fully in aid of um farm animal rescue sanctuary which again as you know we are big supporters of and uh half of the proceeds from choices are going to um to Faz. Yeah. So let's go and have a look, see who's here, see what's going on. We're talking on the stage at 10 to 5. It's our first time talking at an event. I hope it's not the last. It might lead to more things in the future. You never know. I'm performing choices. We'll show you as much as we can. Welcome to the Barnival. <laughs> Of course I can. If it's alright, I'll charge for it and then I'll nip and get it for you. Hey, what we thought you were the baby gap cattle. I wanted to say hello to you, but we left So, Farm Animal Rescue Sanctuary is why this is all happening today. Uh, fantastic place. I don't, if you haven't seen the vlog when we visited, I'll link that up there also because we did the barn and Fars on the same weekend, but it's two separate vlogs. Uh, so, have a look at Fars and uh, a lot of the stuff um, that is here is, is just donated by creative people so that Fars can get funds. Fars have recently, by the way, become a registered charity. Yay. So if you want to set up a regular payment or if you want to make a donation, we'll put a link down there in the first comment and in the description. But for now, look at all the things, the shiny things. <laughs> no, see, this isn't necessary. <laughs> oh, so oh, yeah.
soap's not the best thing to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, I just want to try if I can fix that pot just in case it does get wet. Have you travelled far? From Manchester. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, free tourists, right? What do you think of the Leicester countryside? Oh, it's lovely. It, oh, it's not fun. I know you've already had a load, but we're going to bring a couple of trays of cat food up. Oh, lovely. Do you want any particular time? The owners of the barn <laughs> and the organisers of the Barnival are here. Introduce yourselves, guys. Sarah. This is Sarah, Hi. and I'm Ben. <laughs> oh, I did get it right. I said on the way up, it was Ben. Oh, so it's ben. A lot. <laughs> ben does all the food. You still do it all the Yeah, still, right? still do all that, yeah. Is this going to be an annual thing? Yes, absolutely. More than annual. I, if it's a success, which it appears to be, is let's do these twice a year and let's everyone get together. Like-minded people in the same place. Over a weekend next time. So people camp. Camp. Yeah. We've got campers tonight. Just, we've got small people parking up. I yeah. mean, we consider bringing the tent, but after we can camp out, we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're Especially looking now. at this cloud right now. I'm, uh, so yeah, when, you, when you do come to the barn for food, you will probably meet Ben and Sarah. Yeah. Uh, wonderful couple doing wonderful things. Now let's show you the rest of the barn again. Just a quick talk while the singer's singing in the background. Uh, so obviously the rain stopped, which was nice, because it shitted it down for a short while. As you saw, typical, classic English bank holiday weekend. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're doing our little talk at some point. Uh, we might have to ask Adam if he'll film that. Maybe. Sure. Otherwise you won't see any of it. Unless we just stand on stage holding the camera. <laughs> no, we'll ask Adam. But we've had a lovely mooch round. We've met all the stall holders, bought a few bits and things. It's been great, hasn't it, so far? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. It's a, this is hopefully going to become an annual thing. So uh, do keep your eye out on possible future incarnations of the Barnival. But you should come down to the barn anyway, just for the carvery. That's all I'm saying. Maybe you don't mind. Yeah, I've been about you all the time. 
that don't know us i'm paul i'm jason and together we are those vegan guys uh, just going to tell you a very little bit about our vegan journey we were already vegetarian uh, we're in our 10th year of being vegan now and that all comes down to watching a documentary on netflix called vegucated uh, I saw it twice. The second time I saw it, I came home in tears to him and said, we've, we've, we've got to go vegan now, now. Uh, and I gave all our vegetarian food away that, that night to my friend Debbie. Went to Holland and Barrett the very next morning because it was the only place I know that sold uh, vegan food and our vegan journey began here. Yeah, let's not forget that this whole thing today, the Barnival, has been set up to raise funds for Farm Animal Rescue Sanctuary. If you, if you haven't ever been there, in fact, raise your hand if you haven't been to Far's Sanctuary. Oh my god, guys, you're missing out so badly. You need to go. Next open day, go to Fars. Trust me when I say, take minimum two packets of rich tea biscuits. Minimum. And the sheep will try to accost you for the biscuits. It's a beautiful experience. They tried pulling Jason's pants down. It was hilarious. Uh, but we had a beautiful uh, day there and we know that Carol and every single volunteer that works there does incredible work. Right. So wow, I'm doing something. I'm making a difference. And then as your journey continues, you start to get bombarded with lots of different stuff because you've suddenly opened your eyes up to what's actually going on in the world. So, the one piece of advice that I can leave you with today is kind of be gentle with yourselves and pick your battles. I think that's um, one of the biggest things that I've learned over the last 10 years. Um, and that to a certain extent relates to activism as well. And there's a million different ways you can be an activist. A million different ways, from planting the seed in someone's head in the supermarket aisle, to going and standing in a town centre with a laptop and a mask on, to having direct conversations with people. For the vegan queens, the only vegan drag duo in the country, possibly the world. And I know them very, very well. Uh, just for for the record. Right. Why is this song important? Because you can buy it for a pound from Bandcamp and 50 pence of that will go to Fars for the life of the song. And still you eat the lies It's time to get real so here's the new deal Don't burn the only time you got for a simple meal so yeah well done to the barn looking forward to seeing the barnival as a regular feature of every year moving forward and hopefully we can turn it into a camping festival and all camp up there in that field Woo! which would be awesome please be excellent to yourselves and each other bye loves loves right well we're on on our way back to uh, to the hotel now um, 
and uh, things are winding down here although you can still hear the music yeah there's still people there there's still people enjoying themselves and just chatting to Ben this is the barnival is probably going to become a regular feature maybe a couple maybe a few times a year uh, so keep your eye on the barn uh, website I mean they've got this whole field there perfect for tents could easily be made into a weekend thing mini VCO to anyone we're all about that in rugby we're all about that aren't lovely. we lovely and of course um, Ben's going to let everyone know how much they've raised today for Faz which is what this was all about yeah. it was about raising funds for Carol and her incredibly huge team of amazing volunteers who give of themselves all the time to look after the lucky ones the ones that didn't go through the anim animal agriculture system the ones that get to live their lives out and eat rich tea biscuits and <laughs> put you in the groin when you don't give them one fast enough and pull your pants down <laughs> um, it's been a delight uh, we hope that we've been able to show you as much as we will as much as we possibly could yeah. do you know what I mean um, it's been glorious the Sun came out it's a lovely evening for people to finish off what has been a fabulous afternoon oh we met the lovely Chloe from the um, sushi stand. yes so yeah. we've bought a little uh, bowl of, of, um, of sushi foods yeah. to have in the hotel for our tea but that'll be in our Tuesday meals vlog <laughs> yeah I don't know whether that's already happened or whether it's coming I don't know when <laughs> this is going out but thank you so much to um, to Ben and Sarah for inviting us down here today to speak it was lovely to speak it yeah. was great to hear you sing your song again I enjoyed it um, and it's just been lovely chatting to good folk yeah all day yeah amazing I love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. I reckon we should walk off after I've done this. And just leave them with that view for a second because it's gorgeous. Yes. Yeah.